Basically being a, a non-Indigenous uh, person um, and a young person, a woman, uh, going into uh, work with Indigenous communities. Um, and of course I'm talking in the kind of New Brunswick context where uh, the communities I was working with were um, kind of Federal Reserve communities, uh, not necessarily urban Aboriginal communities. Um, I guess so th some of the challenges are just facing, you know, those barriers. Um, as much as we know a lot about the, the kind of stereotypes and, and racism that are prevalent um, in uh, non-Indigenous uh, society in Canada, there's also, you know, feelings of, of kind of entrenched mistrust because of the, the legacy of colonialism we do share. And so you do have to, have to you know, allow uh, the relationships to develop over time. You can't go in, you know, saying, oh, I'm a good person, I'm going to save the world, you know, uh, I'm anti-colonial and, and expect that everybody's going to jump on your bandwagon. You really just have to let things evolve over time, just uh, work your hardest, um, maintain the highest ethics you possibly can, and, and just trust that those relationships will develop over time.